when I went to university, I originally wasn't even going to apply to engineering. Um, like most high school students, I think, I didn't really understand what engineers actually did. But for me, really what I found, you know, the most impactful piece of what I learned during my time in engineering at the University of Toronto was how to learn on my own. You know, we have new topics that come at us, you know, all the time, new problems. We have to adapt, change really quickly. And so what often happens is it could be, you know, we're pushed into a new field that we know nothing about. And so the tools that I think engineering equips you with, you know, very solid foundation on math, physics, communication, uh, you know, software, has really helped me to then adapt to like rapidly changing situations. Looking back on how we started our company, it was me and my two co-founders out of grad school. Now we've grown into a company of 40 people, but it's not just 40 people, it's 40 people plus their families. And so I'm, I'm really proud that we've helped to create, you know, even though it's a small pool of high technology jobs here in Canada. A lot of people pushed us to say, hey, why don't you go move to the United States, Silicon Valley, it'll be a lot easier. We said, yeah, that's great, but if we don't create jobs and stay here and show the next generation of engineers what you know what's possible and that it can be built in Canada in Toronto um, what's going to make them stay it also means that personally we each have an enormous responsibility to offer some of our time and resources to help the next generation of students that are soon to be UFT engineering alumni um, help support them be successful in their future careers